Royal baby is causing a stir around the world tonight, including here in Connecticut. News 8's Noelle Gardner introduces us to a woman who's no stranger to the inner workings of royalty. She joins us live from our Hartford newsroom tonight. Noelle. Darren and Sonia, first it was the royal wedding, now it's the royal baby. Tonight we have reaction from a Brit who works for royalty in Europe. I think it's just a very exciting time for them, to, especially to have a little boy that's going to be third in line uh, for the throne. Prince William's wife Kate gave birth to a baby boy, ending hours of anticipation around the globe. Hannah Perry says it's an exciting time for Britain. I think they're going through lots of people waiting around, hounding them, trying to find out what the name of the baby is. Um, and also the country is very excited. I mean, we, are, we always come together for things like that for the royal family. So it's just a, they'll be receiving lots of love and, um, you know, congratulations. Perry, who worked for royalty in Italy, the Salero del Borgo family, is not surprised by the media attention surrounding Prince William and Kate. I think there's going to be lots of people around, lots of people trying to take pictures of the baby to get the first shot. All over Britain, there are royal baby viewing parties with excited fans waiting to learn the baby's name. I know that people have, play, have been placing bets on names. What they, you know, just fun games about who thinks, you know, which name it would be and if it was a boy or a girl. What can the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge expect? Lots of diapers, um, lots of trips, lots of photographs, uh, lots of excitement. Perry says it's nice to be focused on something positive. It's like a little um, fairy tale, and I think that the country needed that, and I think that um, everybody loves a good story. And we are still waiting on a name for the newest prince, so the name guessing continues. I'm live tonight in the Hartford Newsroom. Noelle Gardner, News 8.